From The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we get four champion amiibo. Daruk, Mifa, Urbosa, and Rivali. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. I was very fortunate to go into the store today after I worked and pick up all four of these amiibo. I wasn't able to pre-order them. The reason why I didn't pre-order them is because I was really after that four pack. I wanted to box all these together, but I'm not even sure if this four pack came to North America. So if you could comment below if you know that it came out or what country you live in, if you did get the four pack or you didn't. These in North America were a little bit more expensive than normal amiibo. These were a few extra dollars, which is... Fine by me if they're really high quality. Someone like Daruk seems like it's worth it because he's monstrous, but some of the other ones I'm not really sure. So let's get to it and see what these are all about. I'm just going to go in the order that I announced them. So the first one, Daruk, let's take a look at him. He's probably the largest amiibo figure. I do have a comparison here to Bowser, which I will make as well. I like the box packaging for these. It's the same as the other Breath of the Wild amiibo. And of course, you have the picture on the back of this guy. What the interesting part on the back of this is, is it does say that you can scan this into the game, and you can use this to help you in the adventure, basically. But it has a picture of what item that you might be able to get. It says that you might be able to get one of the rare items. And it also has a picture of the Divine Beast that you would have with this character as well. So this one, to Rook. You actually get helms when you scan these in, and I don't think you directly get the helm. I think they're pretty similar to the other Zelda amiibo, that if you scan them in enough times, you will eventually get the rare item that you're looking for, but it might just take multiple scans. Some people actually change the day on their Nintendo Switch over and over again to scan them, because you can normally only scan them once per day. That is a challenge, I guess, but why not? If you have the game for a long time, you could also just be really patient. This guy's huge. I just want to make sure there's no, like, clips holding him or anything like that. Nope. Wow, that guy's hefty. I like this one a lot. Of course, Daruk is a member of the Goron tribe, and Gorons, for me, they're like rock people. I've always been a big fan of uh, Gorons. This is one outstanding amiibo. There is a stand down there, but it's really small. It is necessary. I cannot believe his two feet. His two legs are so tiny, and he's gargantuan as this rock. So he's holding his, uh, I want to call this a sword or a type of sword, and he's swinging it. The cool part about all of these amiibo is that they are wearing the blue tunic or the blue scarf. And this one, I didn't notice this. I don't know how I didn't notice this in-game, but they actually have a picture of whatever divine beast that they are. I assume they're all different for each of them. Just looking at them now, they are. So you can see that there as well. So he is huge. His hands are monstrous. Just as a comparison, here's Bowser and here is Daruk. They're like the same size. If I just put them down for a second. Daruk's like the same size as Bowser, actually. So he's one amongst the biggest amiibo and probably amongst the heaviest amiibo as well. I love this chain link going around him. These things are really cool. At least this one's really cool. This might be my favorite right away. I love the rock formation on this guy as well. He really does look outstanding. The stands are the same as all the other Zelda stands that have come out recently for Breath of the Wild and for Zelda. I think they all have the exact same stand, so at least it's nice that they have that same set going. I'd love to see some other different variations, but I'm really happy to see other characters from Breath of the Wild as well, because these ones I really wanted to see. Hestu is another character I really wanted to see. So there's that one. I'm going to wait, or at least I will measure the heights of all of them at the end rather than throughout. So that one, I think when you scan in, you're looking at getting different items. I think when you scan in Daruk, you're looking at getting the Va Rudinia, or Rudania, the helm, the divine helm, and that gives you flame guard. I think it gives you flame guard level one from my understanding from all the research I've done. All right, so that's the first one of these new amiibo. Let's next go to Mifa. So Mifa clearly is a member of the Zora tribe, and she was a childhood friend of Link as well. Well, I don't want to do too many spoilers with all of you with the game, but I guess even knowing that these are champion amiibo as well, you can see there that you get one of the spears from her clan as well, the Zora tribe. She is a childhood friend of Link, and of course, all these characters are vitally important to the story. Breath of the Wild is amongst the best Zelda games. At first, I undeniably said this is the best Zelda game. Like, how do you get better than this? But looking back at it, there are aspects of it that I think can be better. Of course, the open world is completely immersive. The game is just outstanding overall. But the dungeons for me, now thinking about it, they just don't feel like true Zelda dungeons. The shrines kind of make up for it, but I really do wish they just went back to having shrines like Ocarina of Time. I really just want those normal classic shrines like the Water Temple, for example, for the Zoras, which we didn't get in this game, which was somewhat disappointing to me. I just wish the shrines were more like dungeons, or the dungeons felt more like dungeons. So here we have Mifa. 
This one looks really neat as well. This one's really tiny. And when it was in the packaging, I was like, how is this worth the extra dollars for an Amiibo? And it, it really doesn't have that much more detail on it than the other figures, even for Smash Brothers or for Mario. It does have a decent amount of detail, actually. But, like, this one's really small when you compare it to Daruk. He's a lot bigger. So the spear looks really well done. You can see the Divine Beast there as well on the blue. I do like the contrast of kind of dark pink or fuchsia and the blue. And this is kind of like a small, a smaller amiibo. There is a stand here as well. I think there's probably a stand on all of them that's clear. It does hold it up really well. And this one, it just, it doesn't have that much style or personality as compared to Daruk. So this one's just like, meh. It's nice to have it, but I really wish it looked a bit cooler than this. Or at least, I'm not sure how they could have changed it. She does look a little soft-spoken, I guess, as well. Next up, oh, actually, when you use this one in the game, from my research, when you use Mifa, you're looking at the Varuta Divine Helm. That swim speed up, so that will give you a little bit more swim speed. Uh, you're also looking at trying to get all the Divine Helms, which increase defense, I think. And it also displays the enemy HP gauge, from my understanding, as well. Urbosa, this is like a sassy character too. This one looks pretty cool. On the back here, we have the, I don't know what to call this. This It's some sort of sword. I don't even know the specific name of it actually. Let me know as a comment below if you know the name of that specific sword and the shield as well. That's what you're hoping to get with Urbosa within the game. My one friend, he's uh, really into The Legend of Zelda. Loves Ocarina of Time, of course. He's a fan of Majora's Mask. And he thinks Breath of the Wild is far and away the best Zelda game. He can't believe I haven't played it as much as he has. He's beat it all the way. He loves the DLC for it as well. And this is kind of a prelude to all the rest of the DLC that's going to be coming out for The Legend of Zelda with a new dungeon that's coming as well later this year. These amiibo are preludes to that, I would say. Here we have Urbosa. Look at that pose. I gotta say, this stand is terrible. That stand is such a, That's a really weird place to put a stand. She has her scepter or her sword, and look at those abs, though, too. That's a really ridiculous character design from the game that I remember as well. The coloring on this character is really cool, though. So this is from the Gerudo tribe, and you can see her ancient divine beast on here as well, which makes a lot of sense logically. The green and the pink and the blue, all the colors really pop on this character. Insane ab goals on this girl, which is pretty crazy. I really like the sword, the, the sheath of the sword, and the shield really stands out as well. The coloring on that has great detail on it as well. I just keep saying detail, but it really is. You can see the sword has some indentations on it as well. The sword is obviously pretty pliable, and you can move that around if you really want to for some reason. But that stand, that stand is hilarious. The sass of this character really does come out, though, in the pose. And for this one, you get Van Nabors Divine Helm. It's electricity resistance as well. So if you want to scan that one in in-game, that's what you're looking to get. And the last one is Falco. I mean... Not actually, but it's pretty much the exact same character, it looks like. Revali. Revali's from the Rito clan, which is of the sky, basically. And this really reminds me of Wind Waker. I've got some Wind Waker items over there. I love Wind Waker, so I was really happy to see this kind of tribe in the game as well. On the back, you see the that you get a bow and arrow from this character. That's what you're hoping to get. And let's open this up. When this character was announced, or when I actually saw it online, right away I was like, wait, a bird with a lot of different kind of personality that seems almost really cocky and arrogant. And that seems exactly like Falco. I wonder if they were inspired in any way or if it just worked out that way. Maybe that's just like the character type of the bird. And they're just like, oh, well, all birds like this in games, when we turn animals into characters, they pretty much are going to be some sort of arrogant bird. Now, Rivali is Vamado Divine Helm. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's the cold resistance. This one's a little harder to open. I don't want to break any of it. And there we go. Let's take a look at this one. I'm just going to move this to the side for a volley. I love the bird clan in this game. These look really neat as well. Great character design. You see the bow and arrow, or at least the bow that he is holding here, holding it out. Even the dreads. Like, this bird's got dreads, basically, as hairdo on the back, which looks pretty outstanding. This is so cool. And there's the Divine Beast on the blue scarf that matches Link's blue wear as well, and Zelda's blue wear. The game's really well written, 
And I really do think the character design of these is well done. The voice acting, a lot of people question, but I don't mind the voice acting at all. The stand here is perfect. That's a great way to do a stand. It's kind of out of the way. You don't really see it when you're posing this character in any sense. And I gotta say, let's just look at Falco and look at Rivali for a second. Um, they're both extremely sassy blue birds. I see why everyone's making the comparison. In Smash Brothers, it would be really funny if they did a character swap for Falco in the Switch version of... I think Smash Brothers, that has to come. But anyways, if they did a Rivali, like, you could switch the character costume and it becomes Rivali. That would be actually pretty funny. But it has the same character set or something like that. Just had to mention that for some reason. So this one does give you cold resistance for Vamado Divine Helm as well. Now, just taking a look at these four, I just want to give you an idea of size comparison for them right beside each other. Now that they're out of the package, in other areas of the world, you could buy them all in one giant package. So in terms of height... Let's just do inches. Four inches for Rivali. Actually, I don't know if he's actually four inches. Just below four inches because Ur Urbos is actually four inches. They're all around four inches. However, Daruk's a little bit tall. He's like 4.25 inches, which means each of them are probably around 10 centimeters tall each. But Daruk's a little bit taller. He's more like 11, 11 and a half centimeters tall. My favorite of these four, you guessed it right away, I'm sure, is gotta be Daruk. I love the Goron clan, and this one has so much sass, not sass, so much detail and a lot of character in it. I even like how his mouth's open and he just looks like such a fun-loving giant guy. It reminds me of Twilight Princess when you had to fight against one of them as well and I just love the Goron tribe. It's just going back to Ocarina of Time, I was a big fan of these characters in the past and this one, probably because he's so large, he really does feel like he's worth the money. I'm not sure if these are going to sell out or if you can find them over time. I expect Nintendo to keep shipping them throughout 2017 at least, throughout the Christmas holiday, so more people can get their hands on them. And I really wish I could pick up the four pack because this was probably a little bit more money if you buy them individually, but at least I was able to get my hands on all of them. And now I have a lot of Breath of the Wild Amiibo. I think there's nine of them in this set right now. So that's pretty neat. The Guardian Amiibo was a lot more expensive than these anyways, but these are worth it if you're a Zelda fan and you like Breath of the Wild. Scanning them into the game, I wish they could give you a little bit more. I'm not sure if I fully understand exactly what they give you. Other than a defense boost, you get displaying the enemy's HP gauge, I think. Uh, like Just like the champion's tunic, basically. So, you also get items in-game, but these are really nice display pieces to have on your shelf. Especially if anyone's a fan of The Legend of Zelda. This stand, though, I'm just going to keep making fun of that. And the fact that, basically, Rivali is Falco all over again. But my favorite is Daruk. A lot of the other ones look good too, but Daruk's got to be my man. Let me know as a comment below, what is your favorite amiibo of these four released for Breath of the Wild? And are you able to pick them up? Is the four pack available in your region or anything like that? Are you downloading the DLC for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? I'd love to know that as well. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.